One tweet, 33 words. That's all it took for a game store to ruin its business. <music> Greetings, owners of fine luxury cardboard rectangles. We are here for an installment of what were you thinking? All right, now, before we dive into today's subject, I do want to say the purpose of this video is basically for us to have a chuckle at the foolishness of other people and also to go over the reasons that you don't want to behave in this way. Speaking of ways not to behave, do not go and hassle, harass, have anything to do with the company or people that are mentioned in this video, okay? That is not the purpose of what I'm doing here. It is not to send a dog pile at somebody else. It's merely to illustrate a concept that I've actually seen happen in real life and explain to a game store, you don't wanna be acting in this way. However, the example from that store is nothing close to the insanity of this example. So let us dive in to what we're here to talk about. Oof. All right, we've got Alpha Gaming LLC is the name of the company that shared this tweet. This happened within the last 24 hours. So the tweet says, starting tomorrow, in addition to being mandated by the governor to wear a mask, at Alpha you must also sew a yellow star on your clothing to show your love for nonsensical compliance. So, on the surface of this, this is a supposed to be a tweet that is complaining about being forced to wear masks. Now, you know, we'll, we'll cover that as well, the whole wearing masks versus not wearing masks things. But either way, the idea behind it is it's a complaint that the government is forcing the mandate of wearing masks and it's going on to attempt to make a joke at how ridiculous the scenario is. Unfortunately, what they've chosen to do is pick an example that is far too extreme for the joke they're trying to make. If you're not familiar with what happened, like basically what the concept of yellow stars are, you might just be thinking, yellow stars, what? Like, because we're all in kindergarten and need to be told what to do. And it's like, no, 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 no. See, in the past, there was a time in mankind's history where some really, really awful stuff happened over in Germany, specifically to the Jewish population. And to mark them out, they were forced to wear yellow stars like on their clothes. Like they had to go around with bright yellow stars to mark them out. This was literally government mandated, but these people were like, like executed, tortured. Like there's, there's no way to make a comparison between the two to the point where the absurdity of it genuinely makes me a chuckle a little like I did there where it's like, I can't believe you could be so tone deaf as to make the comparison between the two. Whereas like the idea behind the idea behind the mask scenario, let's break it down. You know, people feel like their individual freedoms are, are basically being crowded in upon. And in a way they are. If you're being told you can't be in certain locations at certain times, if you're being told you have to stay at home, you know what, those sort of things. Yes. Your freedoms are being curtailed to a degree. The concept behind this being, the idea is we have an unprecedented health situation going on. And by all of us creating this collective effort, we will minimize the impact on our population overall. Is this a permanent sort of thing? It shouldn't be. Is it a massive hassle in the current time? Yes, it is causing all kinds of problems. People are stuck at home with cabin fever. It is damaging businesses. There's clearly no way to dispute that, right? So it's understandable that people would feel like about the scenario, but to go to that level where you compare it to literally what happened to those individuals in Germany is completely, be it takes it into a brand new realm of absurdity right? Like there's, there's no way to look at that and go, well, that's a reasonable comparison. You're being forced to wear masks and do this by the government in an attempt to save lives. And these people were forced in it, into it to ridicule them before they were executed. So clearly the comparison is reasonable. Now I'm all for hyperbolic comparisons. I'm also totally fine 
with really, really messed up humor. I have a really dark sense of humor. My belief is that humor is a really useful tool to help people get through their lives. It lightens their spirit and makes things easier. If you like dark comedy, that's great. Sharing it with other people who you know are into the same kind of humor as you, that's fine. And there are people who will try and say you're particular, they will call you an ist word, you know what I'm saying? If you make particular kind of jokes. Now, my belief is you can make really messed up jokes about things without actually having hateful beliefs. You know what I mean? You can just say it. Part of the comedy, and this is what some people don't get, part of the comedy comes from how absurd what you're saying is in some cases, right? The contrast of absurdity turns it into a joke because no logical person could genuinely believe this. Now, I don't, I don't think that Alpha Gaming was trying to make like a straight out hateful remark. Do I think they missed the mark like hardcore in terms of what they did? Yes, they blew it. And one of, one of the things is, is you're running a business. You are running a business. The exact same mentality I take with Wizards of the Coast, I take with all businesses. Keep your politics, keep your personal views out of it if you want your business to function successfully. That's it. Businesses should not be political entities unless somehow that's specifically like the business they're involved in. Your business should be focused on what your business is. So if you're a gaming store, you should be focused on talking about gaming, okay? As soon as you do something like this, and I literally remember an example less than a year ago where I, I am friends with all the store owners in the city. One of the store owners put out a very benign tweet. It's just like, it was, a, it was a meme of the Avengers. However, it moved a little bit into the political sphere. And I contacted him right away and said, dude, you're running a business. You don't want anything that smacks of politics. Stick to running your business. If you see something that bothers you out in the world, share it on your personal Facebook, talk about it with whoever, but divorce that from your business. It is very, very unwise to do this sort of thing. In one way, because the world has become hyper reactive and you will get, you will get such an overreaction to what you're doing that it's not worth it. So lo and behold, tons of people from all over the place came in and started attacking him because pe this is what people do. They go online and they just go, rah, 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 and they're like, and squad come at him. And this was over something very minor. The scenario we're talking about here is way, way different, right? But either way, it's illustrative of the point that when it comes to this sort of thing, if you want to make a joke like this, that's the kind of joke if that I, cause I, I can only assume it has to be a joke. I can't see this as anything else than a really, really, really poor joke that people are responding very, very badly to. And guess what? businesses shouldn't be making those kind of jokes. If you want to say it to a handful of your friends who already know you, know you aren't hateful, don't share those like, you know, it's basically like, we're having a chuckle. Wow, you said that awful thing, but I know you're not an awful person. Knock yourself out. You do that in your personal life, that's fine, whatever. You know what I mean? But when it comes to your business, this is insane. Like at first the individual or whoever it is behind it, I don't know, didn't even take the tweet down, right? Or Facebook post. This was, sorry, this wasn't a tweet. This was a Facebook post. I call I called it a tweet, didn't I? It's the same difference. In my world, a Facebook post and a tweet are the same difference. I don't see any difference between these social media platforms with the little bit of an exception that Twitter does seem a tad bit more hyper-reactive, but that's like maybe like Facebook's at 98% of Twitter. So they're both a place where you don't carry on like this. This is not something that is wise to do. At this point, this company has either privated their Facebook group or they've been reported and straight up taken off of Facebook. I don't know. But this is the perfect example of absolutely what not to do. You know, there are stores out there that are like standing up for what they believe in or doing whatever, calling things out and doing it in a way that aren't over the top. But in the, like anytime you start trying to compare yourself to particular groups, persecuted groups, all this sort of thing, 
like over something as simple as everyone has to wear masks because we're facing a massive health issue it's it's a really bad look and you get what you get so i mean in the short term this is going to be very bad for the business will this lead to an absolute destruction of the business i i mean that's debatable we're, we're living in a time right now where businesses are already walking on a tightrope and it feels like they've lost their guide pole that they can use to balance themselves and there are high winds blowing the wire they're walking across so this this could be enough to push this store into oblivion i mean if they do have a dedicated player base who understands that the owners you know just had a misstep here as opposed to genuinely being hateful then the business may end up surviving but overall this was a really really bad move for a business to make in the current hyper reactive scenario we live in this would be this would be in bad taste even during the previous times where things weren't so over the top and hyper reactive but in today's world and the way things are there's absolutely no reason that you should think like don't don't make jokes on your business page if that's what this is not not those kind of jokes like make you can make you can make jokes like the really dumb weak jokes that are fine and won't affect anybody where it's like hey uh what do you say to a banana that you find attractive when you're gonna eat i find you appealing you know like that kind of humor is I mean, I don't know how, who's gonna laugh at that, but that kind of humor is fine. Stick with that. Like when you're running a company, keep it bland, keep it politically neutral. Don't upset random people to make a stand. You could easily have expressed your distaste over the mask issue without going so hyperbolic that instead of accentuating your point, it drowns your point out. Because now all the people are like, not everybody, right? I, I. I'm not saying these people are hate mongers, but there are definitely a bunch of people on the internet who are going to because they're headline readers and they're not willing to look at any sort of context, subtext. None of that is going to be brought into play. In this kind of a scenario, it's impossible to, to defend the choices that the company has made anyways because it's such a poor choice. So to sum it all up, you can do whatever you want. It's your own business. Make your own choices. However, there will be negative repercussions to your reputation if you choose to engage in the political sphere or the just grandiose outrage sphere, whatever it is, however you want to qualify this. If you don't consider it a political statement or whatever it is, however you deem this, it is a terrible error to be made. But I want to balance that out so everybody understands that I also believe there is nothing wrong with making fucked up jokes if you don't genuinely believe in the things that you're joking about, okay? I think society has reached a hyper-reactive state where people will come and dogpile. I don't think it's healthy. I don't think that people can learn from this. I don't think that everybody going and yelling at this individual causes reflection. At a certain point, when people are so vitriolic and screaming at somebody and trying to end them over something, there's literally no chance for redemption you just push people further into ignorance essentially you know what i mean so we need to meet somewhere in the middle where we can all be somewhat reasonable where it's like yo bro what you did what you did is messed up like that's messed up but as long as you understand that it's messed up and we're going to move forward we're cool we're not here to kick you out of society we're not here to hold you down to the ground for the rest of your life with a boot on the back of your neck like i don't I don't believe in that. So again, this is my last reiteration of don't go and hassle the store. They've already got enough of that going on. I just figured like this was an interesting little way to while away some time and also to share my to share my actual opinion of don't do this. This is like if you run a game store or whatever, don't do this. Okay, so I'm sure this probably doesn't even need to be said because this type of topic will have a bunch of people sharing all their different comments. I'll get yelled at for being a pawn of the a pawn of the controlling agents for being like okay with people wearing masks. I don't get that. The people the people who um the people who are like anti-mask wearing who are like bro, it's a it's a tool of 
governmental control and whatever. And it's like, yeah, no, I get it. Sure. The whole world just all of a sudden came under one world control. And even though the government already has a number that they register you with, keeps track of where you live, how much money you make and forces you to pay them every month. Wearing a mask is apparently where we hit that line of like, they're controlling my life. Like, can we, can, can we not be silly? Can we not be silly? If you feel like the mask thing is an overreaction and that like, oh, you know, people adjust to the flu and whatever else and we should not be wearing masks because of our immune system. All If you have those sort of thoughts, I can understand more why you're anti-mask. But if you're just like, you're a tool of the control and you're dooming us all. I just look at you and go, good Lord, you should be out on the street with a sign yelling like a maniac because that's how you look to me. So. I'm gonna say go ahead and share your thoughts. I imagine a bunch of people already have either in agreement or disagreement with the things that I have said. But either way, let me know what you think or if you just wanna talk about something else, tell me about your puppy, tell me about a sandwich you ate. It's all good. Like the video, comment, share it around, subscribe. Those things are all great for the channel metrics. And if you really enjoy what I'm doing and you wanna put a big old smile on my face, then join my Patreon because my patrons and my channel members they're like my favorite people around, right? And you get to have your name scrolling by like the cool people like this. So thanks for coming by, everybody. I'll see you all soon. Bye!